white wine. Hey. This is Champagne. Treva. Lynn. And Rhea. And today we're going to be reviewing the book, Where'd You Go, Bernadette? Whoop, whoop. Where'd you go? Finally. Yeah. Where'd you, Finally. Where'd you go? Yeah. And this book is by Maria Semple. Screenplay by Richard Linklater. Directors are Holly Gent, Vincent Palmo Jr. All right. And Richard. Richard was actually one of the directors for this movie also. Oh, I didn't get that. Got it. All right. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay, so like this was the most anticipated movie for me because we read the book and was just kind of sitting back waiting for this movie. I don't know. I was it was so, so long ago. I know. I was so anxious for this movie to come out. And the good news was we were so excited that we were officially invited as press uh-uh. yes. to review this movie. So read, watch, wine now. We got to check. We are on the map. Yes, we are. All right. So Did I you- really like this movie. I, I enjoyed watching it. There were a couple of things that I was disappointed in. Agreed. And I think I'll just jump right into that. Mm-hmm. The first thing that bothered me was the fact that they didn't drag out the Bernadette missing piece. Yeah, Yeah, the timeline was all off. You didn't have time to like really feel how the family missed her and how poor little B was so distraught and was trying to figure this out and kind of did this whole investigative thing. They just made that part go by so fast that I felt like it was rushed at the end. I agree. I was hoping like the book, we were in the dark also Mm -hmm. on her missing. Mm -hmm. Like we didn't know where she went, just like everybody else in the book oh yeah so when it showed that she actually snuck out the window to go to the neighbor's house i did not like that right i wanted to be left in the dark i thought we were going to be left in the dark until we found out she was in antarctica along with everybody else and right. or that would have been much more eventful it would have or they yeah. put that part at the end kind of right. like a flashback after yeah. right. the best, but not right. congruently with right. it it was weird i didn't like it was that very either. weird so there was yeah. no was a good suspense one. Yeah. there was no suspense in no, the movie because you knew she you wasn't knew. really missing. Exactly. But in the book, we just didn't know. Right. Great observation, exactly. Champagne. Yeah, I am. <laughs> and the fact that they left out that whole Sue Lynn getting pregnant part. Yes. I was like, that takes a big chunk it of the storyline out. It does. And you know also, with that timeline, too. Yeah, but I thought that they were trying to speed past it because I was confused because she was in every meeting, personal meetings that didn't really involve her, you know, but she was still there. And I'm like, okay, are they going to skip past the fact that they have an affair? And I was like, I'm going to be very upset. Right. But they just skipped past the whole thing. But even together. if they would have just hinted at it a little yeah. bit, maybe have them have googly even eyes to or something, right. something exactly. it would have captured that because right. as it stands, you're kind of watching the movie thinking, well, why is she? And why is he letting her be involved? involved? Like, what's their connection? Right. They exactly. hinted at it, but it never made it they, they wanted you to feel good about it, the husband so yeah i feel like they changed that intentionally because they didn't want to throw that affair yeah. thing in there but they really could have focused on how sue lynn was going after him yeah yeah exactly. she really was they could have had her have more conversations with mm-hmm. the, her friend the neighbor and just showed how she spent the whole time going after him but the only little piece of that you saw is when she was watching the TED Talk, the first time that they did the walkthrough of his yes. office. Yeah. She was sitting at her computer watching his mm-hmm. TED Talk. You didn't really feel like Ooh. she was obsessed with him, right. but you kind of just saw she was watching a TED Talk. Exactly. And honestly, I don't know that if you hadn't read the book, you would have even known that she was watching him on right. the TED Talk. I don't yes. think you would have. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. also changed the ending. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I was like, I don't get why you would take that piece out, which that concludes the whole book. Right. Well, not a whole book, but like parts of it that all sum up to one like them having a blended family mm-hmm. and the kid together and b Which was kind of at first exactly like and that, that was all within the book and they just kind of made it seem like oh lg and bernadette just loved each other forever there's they never any turmoil besides this right. random intervention exactly. and that was it so i feel like they kind of humbleized way too much right I agree. Yeah. I don't know what Richard was thinking when he was writing that screenplay. Why yeah. Why he took that out. I mean, I get that they had to shorten it, mm-hmm. but they could have took out other stuff. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. They, I was, they just could have took out... Her floating along in, like, a little canoe kayak Right, thing, they could have easily Looking at icebergs. Out. Yeah, that could have taken out. Yeah. Right. I mean, like, I get it was, like, a beautiful sight, because, I mean, I always want to go to Alaska... Or, I mean, Antarctica myself. But still, that could have been taken out, and you could have made a Sue Lynn and LG kiss. Boom. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. exactly. I thought that the dad in his scenes where he was in the book, where he was so angry, he didn't come across as angry. Even um, the daughter. LG? For me, I think that um, the dad and the daughter, um, so the dad, LG, and B, 
wasn't really super upset like they were in the movie. Well, she like, wasn't missing for months on end. <laughs> right. True. Like in the movie, so it was like they were just there. right that behind her. Sense. Right. But she was so angry with the fact that he tried to commit her, her mother. Yeah. Yes. And she was so angry with him. Like she was ignoring him, being nasty. In the book, it was like... Oh, Throwing yeah. away his little portable humidifier. Right, exactly. Which was in the movie, but it was still like up and running. And I was like, right, no, exactly. she threw it away. Right. No, it was a neti pot. Angry. Oh, the neti, the neti pot. pot. Yes. I was like, where's this neti but pot? But what was the point of even showing the humidifier? Because you didn't even... It was no right. context to it. So it was just kind of just... Unless you read the book. Exactly. Right. It just exactly. drives me crazy to leave out those details. Yeah, so I thought that was kind of... She was just regular. Like your mom's missing and you're still okay with your dad. It just right wasn't... Now. She wasn't missing long enough. They just... I hated the way that they downplayed that. Stuff. I think she was mad with daddy though because she did... She's... You know, she said it numerous times that, you know, when you were out doing whatever, mom was with me. Mom was my best friend. So I do think they kind of got the connection of he was kind of off somewhere. Right. It just... But not know, that teenage quick. anger. I feel like, you know, cause they could be really nasty. <laughs> Right, you know, and it, 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 that didn't come across. She can't be. She can be angry because Mama's cuckoo. Right, <laughs> right. She was an artist. Yes, she was a creative. Yeah, that was cuckoo. And I'm a creative. So, so we stop your creativity, and you're gonna go cuckoo too. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> okay, so, so, what about the neighbor's um, realization that? She was kind of crazy and over the top. Audrey? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So they downplayed that too. Yes, they Because, did. you know, they didn't dig into the whole son's issue and catching him in the hotel. Right. right. And all of this other thing. So she was just like, yeah, I went to this camp and I realized that I'm crazy. And oh my goodness, Bernadette, no, you didn't run over my toes. And this whole thing that she went through, they downplayed that. Also. But I did like the scene in the kitchen. I mean, I, I thought that they made it go very quickly, but you did get to see some of that realization. And then they kind of of besties. Yes. I mean, they it did come together in the end where they ended up having a relationship, but like Sulin came in there, said a couple of things and then rolled out and then there was no more of that Sulin conversation. Right. And to me, her letters, emails to yes. her friend were so yeah. critical yes. to Agreed. the storyline. Yeah. I yeah, thought they were going to do the same thing that Brandette would did with Manjula, the voice to text, mm-hmm. because I do love how they put that part in there to make it real yeah because i was wondering how they were going to like transition that from the book to the movie yeah right, well, and make have it to read it while they type in kind of exactly and then i was like oh that's a really good idea right. so i was expecting the conversations between sulin and audrey to happen the same way since they're really both perfect. so busy and running around that mm-hmm. it was going to portray that way too and it didn't so i was a right. little disappointed by that but i did like how they did um the voice to text for bernadette right. and I did, Andrew. I did yeah too. when Bernadette went into the bathroom and kind of snuck away. Um, in the book, it showed Audrey came come to get her. Mm-hmm. Like she found out that oh, you know, Elvis yes. was trying to come here. But in the movie, she went to her, which mm-hmm. is still like it's kind of I don't know. I wouldn't have. I don't like that part. I like the way it was in the book. Like yeah. let the enemy come to me and be like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm crazy. You know, we could be friends. Kind of thing. I'm gonna help you out. Right. Kind of thing versus her going like I'm humbly. And her saving know. her with a ladder, right? Right, she yeah. She did all of that, yeah. Yeah. That I didn't mind that part too much because I liked how Bernadette was so desperate that she went to her house. Like, it, and yeah, then, and then it kind of made her seem more real. Mm-hmm. I think that's why it was easier for me to adjust to that, you know, Audrey's accepting her and everything because she just, you know, she was desperate for help. Yeah. Yeah. I do like how they portrayed the neighborhood. So in this cul-de-sac, you have all these like pristine, yes. perfect houses mm-hmm. and this train wreck of a house <laughs> right. and like the, the bushes and all that. Like, I love how they portrayed that, especially with that dividing wall, the brick wall once it, before it <laughs> fell. Yeah. I love how they did that because that's so how I envisioned it. The, the yeah. cast iron to get into up the hill. Mm-hmm. To the yes. like, I pictured like that. It was a family looking house right. when I read the book. Mm-hmm. So I, I agree with you. In the buckets all around the house yes. with the... Uh, towel inside like I envisioned all of that yeah and so I was very happy with that aspect of yeah it. me too but man uh what's up with all the Seattle movies I know yeah. Yeah, right oh my god all that creativity is in Seattle it's doing nothing but raining basically okay so I'm- we attended that official Bernadette painting session and were you guys like watching the movie trying to find the picture that we painted the needle like I was waiting for them to do a skyline yeah picture I, I, was- I didn't have to wait because you was like yeah, I did. <laughs> that, 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 I did. I know. Never saw it. Yeah, no. You didn't either. see it. No. It was oh, dark. It's probably because right. I was in the side champagne. I was like, there it is. That's what we painted. Yep. Because. Yeah, we were kind of quiet on our side. Yes. Really? 
Okay, well, I you guys were like actually, chatty, chatty. I was trying to clean off my hand from all the butter from your popcorn, Raya. So let's actually throw you under the bus about that one. Okay. First of all, you're trying to wash your hands from the butter on her popcorn. Yes. This one had like permanent lip gloss on from <laughs> champagne because of all the butter on her popcorn. But let's be clear, <laughs> Shreva fixed my popcorn. Touche. Touche. Because I knew Shreva. she liked a lot of butter, so I. Put a so lot you just of sacrifice me to the greater gods of butter. Or I don't put butter on my popcorn at all. So <laughs> oh. she, I put hers in a separate container. You. Neither do I. Put butter on. So we need to sit together yes. from now on. That's how we're arranging our seats better. better. And then we will from now on have very comfortable seats because that butter that we lotioned into that seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. I looked at it. I was like, oh my God, we need a napkin. Yeah, but the thing about it is the first time she took a bite out of it, she said, I ain't got no butter on this. Yeah. yeah I actually put a lot of butter on <laughs> it all sunk down right it literally just, that was really fun it all was right fun. so Sorry. back Side to track. your point <laughs> you know, one nice. thing i liked about this movie i couldn't wait to see the part if they would have took it i would have been angry but um in the book i couldn't wait to see the part when she went to the pharmacy I was dying at the that point. That was the best scene. It was like you realize this medicine. She's like, oh, sounds like a day in a park. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that that She's was permanent. Right. And LG coming in to get her. Right, she was like, spread out. Go on. Yeah, that was a great scene. Was, yes. That was perfect. on point. It was really perfect. Now, I know this doesn't really have a lot of significance to the storyline, but do you guys remember in the book when B went to some play or something with her best friend and they were singing the music they were singing the Christmas song and it was very inspiring for her and she kind of I don't know had this transformation of her oh it was supposed to be like some gospel singer yeah no they were singing fall on your knees and yeah. the angels okay we, yeah, yeah, yeah. we get it wrap yeah, it up it. we get it we get it okay no, no. it may have like a plug but that was in the book <laughs> that was in the book that yeah, was in the book that was in the movie, movie. movie. Oh. Because oh God, I don't I know. Part of the I was just was feeling scene. like she had this transformation or whatever. Like I just what happened? Yeah, nothing. Nothing. You love that part of the book? What? Yeah, I love that part of the book. Yeah. So did I. Anyway, I was kind of sad that they took that out, I but I could see why. Because right. it really didn't relevant. Fit. Yeah, it wasn't relevant. <laughs> it wasn't a too. lot. It wasn't really relevant to the storyline, except for B felt something, and mm-hmm. I can't pinpoint it, but it was some kind of mindset transformation she had after listening to that. That's uh, when she really understood, like her mom was going through, and blah 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 blah. And I think we miss all of that because we didn't get to get through the letters. You didn't, you never got to the point where, you know, Bernadette left this trail of breadcrumbs so that she could find her. That's one of the points I actually was going to bring up in a second was that connection that you got from Bernadette and B from the letters was like she knew what her mother was thinking or going through because they were best friends. And you had to see that or I guess read that in the book. And I was waiting for that connection to happen in the movie. And it was more just told to us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was not, you didn't get to visibly see, be like, understand her mom. Yeah. More than just, oh, she's creative. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So those letters being out kind of just, it really bothered me. Yeah. yeah. That part bothered me too. How about Lawrence Fishburne? I loved his role. I think he did a great job. I think he was part of the fabulous casting that I loved in this movie. I think. They nailed the cast on this movie. Two lines? Yeah, I know, but um, I can interview. see him as I this. did a whole interview. Oh, well. Uh, I can see him as an architect friend. Me too. I wish he just had a lot more. But, I, you know, back to, I guess, the movie and what I loved about the movie is when they talk about, like, Lawrence Fitchburg's role and then um, building the mile-long house oh, or whatever. Yes. 20, miles. 20 miles. Like the fact that they actually kind of showed you the construction of it, I love that you can see it. And even the first house that they were living in that had like the eyeglasses yeah, yeah. at the wall, C- they C- des- yeah. And, yeah. So they described it in the book, and I couldn't, I could not yeah, visualize I couldn't it. Well, I visualized so that. I couldn't, I couldn't I did. for some yeah. reason, yeah. but when I saw it in the movie, I was like, oh my it gosh, that house is yeah. fabulous, right? So yeah, she was brilliant. I yeah. like the I like the backstory of her and the way they showed it as if she was really like it's like documentary of her. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a good way of showing. Yeah, love that. Every aspect. Yeah, I, I love like that. that. I love oh, that. I wanted to watch watching that yeah. YouTube. Well, yeah. she started, well, she started, started, started watching, watching it, it, remember? Yeah. Oh, And then right, we right. picked it up where she left off. Yeah. And just, you know, learned even more about her mom. That was amazing. I really did like that. 
I, I didn't like... know that I liked B. Really? That's just. <laughs> Did she seem too old for you? Yeah. She was going to high school. Yeah. Yeah, but the character seemed. I mean, she herself seemed too old. And I don't. She's I a don't... wise thinker. No, just no. But a creative mom at like. As a kid, you got to be a creative thinker. I, I get that. She just seemed too old. But remember in the book, they described her as looking younger than what she was supposed to be because, because she's so sickly. She, she was sickly. Yeah. Oh, I so I feel like they didn't demonstrate that. Like, yeah, I wanted I her to look yeah. more like a baby. Yeah. So that was it. I mean, I, lo- I think she did a great job. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I do, too. But I feel like she could have looked that a little bit younger. Right. Yeah, Agreed. Right. I wasn't disappointed that they left out Choke. The school she was supposed to go to and how she got how they actually went there kicked her out kind of mm-hmm. you know because her mom situation you were disappointed I weren't were really okay. because um even though it was, it was a big deal in the book it was irrelevant <laughs> well but to, to me the reason why it had some relevance is because that's when she got the paperwork and yeah. the paper right. trail and that's why she got kicked out so the there book. was some way that they could have given her that paper trail yeah. right outside of her going to that right. school right um that would have been fine, but I just feel like getting all those emails and all of that stuff. Yeah, Audrey sent to her. I mm-hmm. love Mr. Mark. With I her. love the scene with her, um, her and Audrey and Bernadette in the um, driveway when they had their argument. Oh yes. Yes. Oh my so god. That was exactly I, like yes. yes. that was exactly like the book. Yeah, that was exactly like the book. I was in tears over that. Yeah. I heard you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <so laughs> you heard, don't you always hear? I was like. <laughs> I know. Was that snorting? Yeah, I was she snorting. I was. That was not doing good. Tears. Yeah. It was <laughs> so what do y'all think about the cast? I'm just gonna say it. I think they nailed every character. Yeah, I yep. love LG's very handsome fellow. You are. And see, yeah. I really didn't think what? so. No. LG's perfect. Yes. Yeah. LG's who I envisioned. Yes, me too. I loved LG. I loved Bernadette. I mean, come on, Kate. She Blanchett. could not, I think they could not have found a better yes. Bernadette. I agree. I love Kate Blanchett anyway. And she had that she, resting her, bitch face. Yes. She <laughs> loved she it. Owned that. Yes, she did. That. that was the, the face that I envisioned I that envisioned. Bernadette was right. going to have. Exactly. When she exactly. gave him those looks like you nets. Right. <laughs> like, yes. That's yes. the face. No, oh my I'm gosh. Crazy. And I'm at work like, ugh, these nets. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was just, it was so good. A group of like oh parking God. hens. I was like, oh, you guys are gnats. Right? They're like starting to become this gnat hater. And I realized and she I don't like put emphasis yeah. on it when she said it. Yeah. Like, gnats. <laughs> Which they did a good job in the movie when she was making the billboard and she's like, yes. and that's not, and that's G N A T to right. make sure it was spelled correctly. And but in I did red. like that. <laughs> make sure it's in red. She's like, always around, but serve no purpose. Right. <laughs> so that part was definitely like portrayed yes, like that. Definitely. Yeah, I think she But I think did. Camp Blanchett did a good job of Amazing. making, embracing yes. her. She definitely read the book. Yes. <laughs> yes. She yes. definitely read the book. Her in that vest, I will never <laughs> I swear to God, you thought she was cool. She's like, this vest. In this vest. Just walking, right. looking good. And that was, I imagine, is like her in that vest. Yes. It was like this yeah. tall, lean lady in, in this vest. I loved it. Not out in the pharmacy. <laughs> Still wearing the vest. Right. right. I it's love like, it. Well, do you have a picture's vest on? And she's like, oh, yeah. You know, You're like, I'm like I'm I'm <laughs> I'm It's like, okay. The only character I did not like is, um... Even though he didn't have a really a role, it was just a picture. Nigel Mills Mary. Oh yeah. The one who tore down the twenty mile. Oh my house. god, I pictured him exactly no. like that. Terrible. I, I just did that. I, 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 I was seeing Elton John. Me too. For some <laughs> Me too. Like this real pompous, eccentric. This pompous eccentric, like over glamorized, self absorbed guy. And that was that picture. I yeah. Know, I, 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 I didn't like that. that. No, I didn't like that. I thought that was perfect. I thought he was good too. I, I, I think that was a I thought it was a perfect picture. No offense, right. Elton John. She would not mean any harm by that. Right. Not the pompous piece, but over the top. <laughs> right. Over the top, glamorous, yeah. glitzy, like that's what I pictured. Someone I like picture that. that. How about you? I loved in the end when they um, actually showed us what she built. I mean, I just that just like was yeah. perfect closure to the movie to me for that's me. That's true. What yes, in that in that, Antarctica. Yeah, yeah, and that it was um the challenges that she was faced with it. How her solutions resolved those challenges, yeah. as in putting the whole station yep. on sleds yeah. mm-hmm. so it made it mobile yeah mm-hmm. like i was just i actually noted that <laughs> because i was like that's genius because yeah. that's not, one of the things that she was worried about over here because that went over my head oh yeah. no we were sitting and watching it while you guys were being gnats we were watching <laughs> it but interesting that 
that you say that is because the bubbles look like a bunch of gnats. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, did she design them to look like gnats? <laughs> I actually envisioned DNA, like a double helix. But yeah. Okay. yeah, that's what I, 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 I saw saw gnats. Okay. Okay, but it was <laughs> on sleds for so that way because when they pulled it across the ice yeah. to where it needed to be, mm-hmm. that showed its mobility. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So Didn't that's when I see it pulling. Did you see it pulling <laughs> out? Not. I missed all of that. Yeah. But yeah. Good. Yeah. So, Come on, Lynn, to pull that out. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were talking about like she was like t- like so excited about all those challenges that that whatever architect got that job was going to be facing. That that was one of the challenges that stuck out in my head. Yeah. That she was talking about the the coordinates of it how I needed to be able to be mobile Mm -hmm. and that's the perfect way to make it mobile yeah I just obviously love that train or that way of thinking because that's kind of how I think what are we trying to do here don't just tell me to, I gotta brilliant. figure out exactly. Right. Did you call it brilliant? Thank did, you. Did you I'm come about that? Let me rephrase that. <laughs> no, it's a brilliant, brilliant way of approaching something. That's how I approach everything. You didn't know that? I did not. Oh, we yeah. Okay, so let's give this a boom. <laughs> Ray is now Bernadette. <laughs> right. Okay. Because you know she does become the book in the movie every time. She's in every character. Every book. Literally. <laughs> She's an old man, an old Swedish man for a minute. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> they, they're such haters. We're honest because we're family and we love you, <laughs> Bernadette. <laughs> Bernadette, you want to rate this? It's a theater in me. <laughs> really? Uh, are we gonna have to start with somebody else? Sounds like it. I guess I'll start. Um, I'm going to give this a long day at work because I was so, so excited about seeing this book on film. And they left out some of the parts that I really wanted to see. I really wanted to see the um, interaction between Sue Lynn and Bernadette when she found out that she was pregnant and how Bernadette's facial expressions reacted to it. So I was a little disappointed by that. But I thoroughly enjoyed the book. I love the book. I really enjoyed the movie, but that really bothered me to miss that part. So I'm going to give it a half blast, and it's because I think they missed a mark on some critical aspects of the movie, specifically the length of time that Bernadette was missed, the fact that Bernadette was even missing for Mm -hmm. a while, and then the same thing that you talked about, the, the letters, and how that piece, that aspect of the book, was missing from the movie. I will give it a long day. Um, it would have gotten a full glass for me, um, basically just based on her being in a pharmacy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite hilarious. part. <laughs> but because um, I was, I wanted to be lost along with the rest of the movie or the book mm-hmm. when Bernadette went missing. Yeah, it's what kind of brought it back down for me. So unfortunately, I'm gonna give it a, a long day. Long day for me, too. I've already talked about how I felt about the movie, so that's what it gets for me. Okay, right. so Where'd You Go, Bernadette didn't quite get a full bottle, but it's such a good movie. Such a good book. Please read the book. Read the book. We'd be interested in knowing what you all think about it, so read the book, watch the movie, and then hit us up. Yes, at, on Instagram at Read, Watch, Wine. And catch our future podcasts on any podcast hosting format. Subscribe, subscribe, rate us, and talk to you later. Bye, guys. See you guys.